at that time. So tonight, it's the second time that we'll gather and give you sort of the next installment of where we're going uh, and let you see a little bit more behind the scenes of what Project Tango is all about. So when we got together at CS, we talked about three key focus areas for our device and for Tango. Those were indoor navigation, gaming, and utility. So tonight's focus will be around indoor navigation. What better place to showcase indoor navigation than in a museum? Oftentimes we wander through a museum looking for something specific, but having some challenge finding it. And when we get to the thing that we actually came to see, we want to learn more and take in as much information as we can. So Johnny will talk a little bit more about how Tango will enable that, and you'll have the opportunity to experience it firsthand with the devices. So it's a great setting and a great demo, but what I want you to think about as you go through tonight's demonstration is not specifically what you see in the museum, but more broadly what the capabilities are in your own life and in the lives of the consumers that will have access to the technology. This is why I'm so excited actually about Tango, is because the possibilities are endless. I recently had to go buy a birthday present for my daughter. Uh, she's 13, she wanted something from Forever 21. She's not 21, I don't know why she wanted something from Forever 21, but I don't know where the store is. I didn't know exactly what to get her. If I could have had the capabilities to use indoor navigation, I would have quickly found it in the mall, and it could have actually enhanced my shopping experience. So think about broadly what you see as the technology tonight. The last thing that I'll say is that we're, as I said, we're on track for the hardware, but we also have seen a significant uptick in terms of app development uh, and app developer enthusiasm. We talked about an app incubator program at CES, and we've seen a lot of pickup, and Johnny will talk more about that since CES. So we feel confident that the ecosystem build out is very much on track uh, for Project Tangle and for the launch of our smartphone in the summer. So, have a good time this evening. Uh, enjoy the demos. I'll be around, Johnny will be around. Many people from both of our, uh, the Google team and the Lenovo team will be here. So if you have questions or follow-ups uh, that you want to talk about after, please do. Johnny, a few words from you as well. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Um, yeah, it's a real pleasure to have you, and thanks for taking part of your busy NWC schedule to come visit us, uh, including the demos. Please feel free to enjoy the snacks and drinks. Um, you know, Project Tango uh, it is, is an effort to give devices a new sense of space and, and <laughs> spatial understanding. And just as you know, it's hard to imagine buying a phone today without GPS or even a front facing camera, these sensors actually change the way how we use our devices. And we hope Project Tango will actually provide uh, this sense, of, uh, sense to you as well. Uh, as Jeff said, at CES, we showed you a few applications using it on stage uh, where I was sort of limited to some uh, area a little bit like this, but we also wanted to, uh, tonight, give you a preview of some work that we were doing on the indoor location side. Uh, and these are partners that we've been working with for the past couple months. Uh, they're early previews, so there's still lots of rough edges to the demos, but you'll get a sense of what the fundamental technology and uh, what, what it enables. Uh, so the two partners tonight are guide to and uh, Glimpse. You saw a little bit of Glimpse if you were uh, sort of looking at the TV earlier today. Um, Glimpse is one of the world leaders in uh, real-time location sharing. Uh, with, with tens of millions of active accounts, they allow you to share your precise location with friends or family or in a professional setting uh, to know where the vans are or where perhaps the Comcast uh, guy is. And um, uh, by using the precise location abilities of Project Tango, you can see exactly where a person is in real time in indoor spaces. You can almost see this top down view of uh, the people in the map. Uh, the second partner that we have uh, here tonight with you, and one of the reasons why we're in this uh, uh, beautiful location of the uh, National Art Museum in Catalonia, is because uh, Guy Dago is here, and they're one of the um, uh, leaders in map, uh, indoor tour guides for museums. They have over 195 uh, museum tours in their popular iOS and Android app, uh, spanning uh, Paris, London, San Francisco, uh, Stockholm, and of course, Barcelona. Uh, so we've been working with them over the past few, few months to add uh, indoor location experience, which allows you to navigate from individual pieces of artwork, as well as see an AR view of annotations. 
And because it's a difficult thing to demo to a large team, we're actually going to do a large group of people. We're actually going to break you up into really small groups of about four or five. And that's what the bulk, bulk of tonight is, is actually giving you time to see the technology up close rather than watch this demo on stage. Uh, and uh, over the next uh, hour, we'll be, uh, each of you will get you like a group number, I think, when you walk in. Uh, and there'll be an announcement to uh, uh, educate which group is on, uh, up for the tour, and we'll be meeting over there in the back corner. Uh, so we're really excited to um, have a chat with you. Again, this is uh, early preview work of the possibilities that we see with Project Tango, uh, and we'd love to have a conversation with you. Uh, so thanks, and enjoy the drinks and demos. So we're gonna, uh, and an effort to keep moving along. Uh, yeah. We're going to try to uh, keep, it, keep, keep it a little fast and so you can yeah. also observe it while going. So we're going to go through two paintings, two paintings right now. The great ones of the museum. So we take the directions from, uh, as you can uh, see on the screen, we just continue the path, okay? And uh, blue dots on the screen we have. And also, if we get closer, we can uh, press to the plus icons, which uh, will give us uh, more uh, information. Also, uh, there's a, a play, uh, an audio content, this painting, depicting the Battle of Tetuan, was which explains by also the, the painting. Okay. The scene takes place in 1860 near Tetuan, Morocco. I would like you to to try the the experience. Uh, modernist. Well, this case is uh, there are two paintings based on Catalan version of Art Nouveau. Uh, they show the same two gentlemen on a bicycle and in a car. Ramon Casas and his friend Pedro Romeo, owner of Os Cuatro Gats, uh, Barcelona Coffee very famous uh, place here in Barcelona. So if we get to the AR view, same as before, you can uh, get uh, AR experience. And if you get closer, we can um, also see plus icons to get more information about the painting. Click on here. This was Joaquin Torres, uh, made by uh, Ramon Casas. 